Becoming a Benefactor, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight out of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 through 7, but I want to zero in on verse 4. Who comforteth us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by a comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. I want to think to you, I want you to think with me through this process of comfort recycling. We recycle a lot of things in the United States of America. We recycle plastics and we recycle metal and we recycle glass. I remember when I was a boy living over in Oregon, we used to go out and we would collect bottles and cans off the side of the road because they had a deposit on them. And if you found them, if you collected them, you could then turn them in and redeem them for money at the store. So you could get some candy money if you picked up bottles and cans. And it's a pretty smart way to do that. Here in Idaho, you can do it, but you only get pennies per pound. It's not a, it's not a redeemable thing at the stores. So we think a lot about recycling and the value of it. Let me help you to discover the most valuable recycling resource. This is the comfort of God. Have you ever asked yourself the question, why is it some of God's choicest saints go through such crushing times? Why do God's choicest saints go through crushing times? I believe it is because when the world and those around us are watching Christians and they see a Christian be dealt a debilitating blow then they see how the Christian handles that. And when that Christian goes to God and finds comfort, uh, they are encouraged that they, those that are watching, are encouraged because then they know that there is a source or resource for them to run to. Another concept that I think flows out of those crushing blows that are dealt to uh, ardent believers is this. When I receive comfort from God during a crushing time in my life, then I can then recycle that comfort and give it to somebody else who's going through a similar situation. So I think sometimes you and I as believers, we may go through a time that's not a hard time, it's not so much based on us, but it may be so that we can encourage somebody down the road in a situation that they find themselves in. So God may be storing up some comfort in you that you're going to give to somebody else down the road so that you're a conduit for the the uh, comfort of God. You're somebody that the comfort of God flows through to other people and it multiplies through you so that you comfort not just one person based on this bad time that happened to you, but multiple people based on this bad time that happened to you. So sometimes the crushing blows that are dealt to believers are there so that they can recycle comfort and give it to somebody else, so that somebody else knows that we know what they're going through and we understand the pain, and and they and so that makes our words amplified in their ears and magnified in their hearts. So ask yourself, what situations am I in right now that God is going to use so that I can comfort others down the road? And when you can be a comfort recycler, you're a part of a, a powerful part of the economy of God as he's ministering to people in this world. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I pray that you'd bless those under the sound of my voice. Let them know how much you love them and care for them. Draw them close to you and to your heart. Let us rest tonight in your sovereign will. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.